So let's add some code to our main activity.java file. So go to the Java folder here and then go to main activity.java. And in here, first of all, we need to uh, import some library to add these fragment, fragment manager, and fragment transaction. Okay. So just add these three libraries or import these three libraries which is import android.app.fragment second is import android.app.fragmentmanager which we'll, we will use to change fragment or remove fragment right and import the third library called android.app.fragmentTransaction okay so you just need to uh, add these three libraries and now we are going to add a function okay so let's add a function for example void void uh, change fragment for example okay and we will pass one argument view view okay and uh, then inside this uh, function or method we are going to write our code let's make it public and to resolve this just press alt enter Now inside this method what we are going to do is first of all we will create an instance of fragment so fragment and we will name it as fragment itself for example okay now we want uh, on button click event we want to open a fragment right so what we are going to do is we are going to check which button is clicked first so if view is equal to find view by id and we will search for for example id of button one first of all so r dot id dot button which is our first button and if this button is selected we will write some code otherwise if the other button is clicked what we are going to do we will just uh, copy the same code but this time we will uh, you know check if button 2 is clicked or not okay now um, inside uh, the, these if condition if button 1 is clicked what we are going to do is we will assign to this instance the object of fragment 1 okay so this is our fragment one class which inherits fragment right so uh, we can use polymorphism property here so you know to this fragment instance which is a instance of fragment we can just assign a new fragment one class or object like this okay and if the button 2 is uh, selected we will just call fragment 2 class which is this one fragment 2 with a spelling like this okay so it should be fragment 2 okay so we have created fragment 1 and fragment 2 classes whenever we have uh, created uh, this uh, layout it's automatically created these classes fragment 1 and fragment 2 right now once you assigned the instances of uh, fragment 1 and fragment 2 to the main fragment instance now we will add a fragment manager and then we will do some transaction so go to your uh, first F condition and here we will create an instance of fragment manager we will name it as fm for example is equal to 
and what we are going to do we are going to call a function called get fragment manager okay and then we will uh, create an instance of fragment transaction and we will name this fragment transaction instance as ft which will be fm which is our fragment manager dot begin transaction okay and using this transaction what we want to do is we want to replace or we want to uh, you know uh, replace the fragment to the fragment one if uh, the fragment one uh, fragment two is uh, uh, you know placed in the fragment uh, in our main activity then when whenever one button one will be clicked it will re replace the fragment to fragment one okay so we will just use this ft dot replace and this replace function takes two argument one is the fragment id so if you remember whenever you go to this activity underscore main dot xml file here we have given the id to this fragment right which was fragment place right so we have created this fragment and the id for this fragment was fragment place or you can see click this fragment and you can see the id fragment place here so we will go to the main uh, main uh, activity dot java file and in here pass the first argument by placing the uh, id of the fragment right so r dot id dot fragment place okay and the second argument it takes is the fragment instance which is this one okay now we will do the same for uh, the other if condition if button 2 is selected what we are going to do we are just going to copy this and paste it here okay with no changes so now our code is almost complete there is one more thing uh, I think which is remaining is whenever we uh, call fragment transaction we need to commit this uh, transaction so uh, ft dot commit okay so whenever you begin a transaction you need to commit the transaction also so just uh, place this transaction code here and one more thing which is remaining is we need to add this method to the button click event of button 1 and button 2. So we have created this ch change fragment method. So go to your main activity or activity underscore main dot xml. And in here just choose the button 1. So just select button 1. And search for the property called on click and select your method you which you have created change fragment okay same we will do for fragment 2 so select fragment 2 and search for the property called on click and select your change fragment method from here so whenever some button is clicked this uh, method will be called now we are going to run our program so now our program is running you can see by default this fragment uh, one is selected here uh, if you remember we have given green color to fragment one and red color to fragment two right so by default fragment one is selected and whenever i click this button fragment two the fragment two will be set in here right whenever i click fragment one fragment one is set so you can just change these fragments by clicking these buttons right now in these fragments you can create uh, your uh, you know functionality like if you want to add some image you want to make a registration form or uh, some uh, you know some ui which you want to add to the fragment and on the button click this these fragment will be uh, you know replaced on fly whenever you click button 
So in this way, Fragment uh, works in Android. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.